He's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. So we were actually supposed to start speaking to Julius after the headlines with Tim but yeah. a, a crowd has gathered around the studio and I just felt they must get a whiff of Michael Jackson. But also, I don't even know, I've never seen a larger gathering of women with shawls and scarves than in this building today. I'm um, look, I'm like, do you work here? Do, do we know you? Do we know you? So clearly, my, Beyonce or Michael Jackson is I'm in the building. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And I have to kick it off quickly. My dad yeah. wants to know. Now that our perfect wedding is not on, what do you watch? Because that's the one thing he learned from the last interview <laughs> that you and I did together. That when the only TV show you watch is our perfect wedding. No, then your sister appears on a different program, like to my wife. Anna looks different today. And she says, No, it's the sister. It's not Anna. <laughs> So, so I, your, your, your wife then watches House of Zwede. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I bumped into that. I was like, oh, Anel. He said, no, it's not Anel. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, now it makes sense. So outside of ENCA, Newsroom, uh, what's SABC Africa? Because we know you're always yeah. watching the news. What are you watching right so, now? So like yesterday, I didn't want anything to do with politics or anything serious. I'll go from one podcast to the other. I was asking him what happened to his uh, podcast. Oh, the, uh, the unfollowed. 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 It yeah. was a limited series uh, of Showmax. Showmax. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we can get a petition going to bring it yeah. back <laughs> with politicians this season. I was about to say the, the first episode must be Julius Malema. Yeah. Then they'll bring it back. <laughs> so yeah. you are you you on the streamers? What are you watching on on Netflix and all of that? No, no, no. Uh, podcast. I get to know a lot of people that I thought I know oh. and I didn't know properly because podcast gives them. A, oh, time. Cut, yeah. a lot of time to tell us yeah, a lot yeah. of stories we've never get to know oh, that's very about true. these people. Yeah. I'm so glad you said that because yeah. that's the reason you're here. I yes. think our audience knows you a lot just politically. Yes. And you know us, we relax people. We, we yeah. are lifestyle people. We like to know about the person behind the politics. Yeah, because mm -hmm. all we, I mean, for most politicians, for us, it's like this. We get sound bites. All the we time. Get, we got little sound bites about yeah. whatever the news picks up, or whatever the controversy is. Mm. Uh, so it's nice to have someone and actually have a chat with them, you know? So for the next 30 minutes, we're getting to know the commander in chief of I'm the tired. EFF, Julius Milema. A little bit better. <laughs> He's laughing already. I'm glad you're laughing because I need to ask you. Yeah. When you want to buy your wife flowers, okay, who do, do you do it yourself? Do you send somebody else to do it? Do you know how to do things like that? No, I send uh, my PA. Okay. And uh, she's very good because she has diarized all of that. Oh. I've got a potential of forgetting. Well, I was going to ask because, but now if you send your PA, right, uh. your wife obviously knows you've sent the PA. Yeah, but she will know I've got an idea. I tell uh, her what I want. Okay, okay. Yes, so they so yes, still appreciate she it. She looks for uh, so, what I want. So are they always red, the flowers? No. They are, <laughs> <laughs> they are, I mean, uh, this Valentine, they were white. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, okay. White roses. White roses. Yeah. And, and, and then, then the PA will bring them to you and then you will go and present them. Yes. It, 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 she must not see. She must not be seen. Oh. You see, when you are a PA, you must be, it's like when you are a protector. Mm. You must try by all means to be invisible. Mm. Okay. So that's why you must not talk loud. Uh, you must not do unnecessary up and downs. Mm. Okay. So you must behave like, I don't want to be here because you're encroaching in other people's spaces. Oh. So you don't need that. Okay. Yeah. No, I've, I, because I, 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 I raise this because I've watched you with uh, as a family man, right? I mean, I ran into you at, at Sun City, yes, yes, yes. where we were both on family yes, holidays. Yes. And as a family man, mm. like his kids, you know, mm. uh, uh, do your kids play sport? Do you go support them at sport they, games? So I don't go. They, they like my two young boys, seven and six, mm. Jay Z and Copano. They love football and they know the world football's history. Mm. They can tell you. About when, Manchester when was and Liverpool, Liverpool and, and, mm, and when and mm. when he died. And <laughs> so they know all of that. But I, the older one gradually is now starting to talk politics because the younger one was saying to him when he saw Putin mm. uh, uh, on TV. So he says, Jay-Z, is that uh, Sleepy Joe? Mm. Then Jay-Z says, no, that is uh, a Vladimir Putin. Mm. Uh, so I knew, oh, now he's beginning to oh, appreciate he's to international it. Yeah, oh. uh, figures here. Yeah. You, you spend a lot of time on the road, you know, mm. and especially in a political year like this. So mm. you, you don't get to see your kids as much as you would like to. What is your parenting style? Do you and your wife like have a, hey, when I'm here, I'm the good guy. Hey, there's no time for me to be the bad guy. No, well, my wife is, is there is a division of labor. Mm. There are certain things that my wife takes care of and mm. that includes those children. Mm. Okay. And um, I always try to make sure when I'm available, 
we spend uh, as much time as possible. Like yesterday, I went to Bulugwani from Cape Town, had a meeting, and at one o'clock, I finished and then closed the diary to go and spend mm. some time with them. Oh, and nice. I try to catch up with them also. What, in what, the morning. What do you guys? What do you guys eat? Like, what is your? Because it's always like that when when families have time together. Like There's my dad. A meal. My dad used to be like, okay, it's pizza. So okay. my dad used yeah. to bring the pizza. What do so you? So pap and meat. Uh, that's you a are from Limpopo. Yeah, that's 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 so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, even themselves. But my kids don't eat pizza or uh, a McDonald's or things like that. The other day we're coming from somewhere. Mm. And I said to them, can I buy you ice cream? They mm. said, no, the sun is down already. So we only eat ice cream when it's the sun is sunny up. day. And uh, oh. so the bigger brother said, let's go to McDonald's. And oh. the two young ones he responded at the same time. No, not McDonald's, not McDonald's. So I was like, oh, what? okay, guys, <laughs> what, when do you eat McDonald's? Yes, when? Once a year. <laughs> <laughs> and today is not that day. It's like Christmas. Yeah, it's yeah. not that day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. And then okay. the fizzy drinks. The uh. other day we had my grandmother's house in the township. Mm. Uh. And you know, kids there, they eat, drink anything. So the older one goes, he sees these people fetching fizzy drinks. Mm. Mm. He fetches himself a fizzy drink and the younger brother was seeing him. Mm. So I was sitting there watching them. He says to him, put it down. <laughs> put it down. We, we don't eat because yeah, we, we don't. We don't. End this it's it's once a year. And yeah. That day yeah, is not today. Put it. And then I said to them, "Go look for a juice, oh, yeah. nice. and I'll uh, give you half, half." Of oh, that that's thing. cool. So I think she's growing them so nicely, mm. not to be too much into food, mm. because we believe to make them happy is to overfeed them. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, give them junk and all of that. Yeah. But she's doing a good job. And um, by the time they assume their own characters. Some of these things won't taste the way we taste them. Well, I think because that's the thing. When we were growing up, it's like you didn't have it. Yeah. You know, like so uh, you we compensate. Couldn't it. Yeah. So you compensate. Yeah. When but you're the older. problem with us and pop yeah. is that we're fed that thing Oof. from mm. bed. Mm. And from morning, make a, a porridge, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. and then put it on your mouth and force it on. For, even if you're full, they still push it mm. in your mouth. So you can give me the best dish you 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 have. <laughs> As long as there is no pub, after that, as we drive out, I'm like, let's go look for food. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get some pub. We didn't have food. <laughs> That's amazing. They gave us our starter at yeah. that house. Yeah, <laughs> let's, yeah, look, yeah. let's look for them. That was a starter. Let's go look for food. <laughs> so, okay. you know, if, there, if there's one thing that people can say about you, whether they love you, whether they hate you, whether yeah. they're still unsure about you, you yeah. are a confident person. How do we raise confident kids? Well, we must allow them to be independent, mm. make their own uh, mistakes, but we should not allow them to be over-dependent. Mm. Because I grew up uh, so independent. Mm. I had never a father figure, born to a poor mother. Then at an early age, I had to start panda, hustling. Mm. And, and What's an early age? Nine? Uh, nine, yeah, ten. Okay. Then I all, and I'm the only child. So you grow to not depending on anyone. Mm. You don't need and anyone. Then mm. you, and then you still want to get married and you realize, oh, Ghana, there's a person here. Before I move this way, mm. I must So Check. don't raise them in such a way that when they're independent, they now think they don't need other people. Oh. You can't exist in isolation. Mm. You That's always need other people, especially those who care about you, mm. to always give you a proper advice, to support you. Because we can all do with a little bit of support. Uh, uh, I love you. Uh, give me a hug. Good luck. No ways. Who's the last person you said I love you to? My wife, no. Oh, really? And Is that how you end the call? But no, no. I don't leave my home without a kiss. Uh -huh. uh, when I arrive, I kiss. Mm. And then when she's not in the mood to kiss me, I'm like, what if you sing me for the last time? I'm going on a road. <laughs> <laughs> it's like emotional blackmail. <laughs> and when you say I love you, do you say it in English or do you say kaurata, kaurata? Uh, in English, hey, that's paid it sound different. What? Say it in English. It's too hard. Kaurata. Kudu kudu. Kudu kudu. So it's so nice in, in English because maybe it's what we, we are used to.
I know when you watch Paul the Beautiful once, you're yeah. like, that's how I'm gonna say it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. when yeah. The, the clouds are like yeah. that. You know? the I love you sounds. Yeah. And there's a Weird. five place. I was telling someone that we all got taught by Rich Forrester how to French kiss. Yeah. I, like, yeah. <laughs> I never knew you have to use your tongue. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, that's that's what we're doing. Listen, we've got Julius Malema in studio. Uh, we're gonna speak the upcoming elections. What's yeah. his plan? And what I loved about what he said is that he surrounds himself with people that are not afraid to advise him. I want to know who's his immediate five who's the one person that can come up to me and say hey i disagree with I that disagree. i'm not gonna tell you in public yeah but mm. behind closed doors i'm gonna tell you i don't disagree with, i don't agree with what mm. you just did mm. that's all coming up we've got julius malema in studio morning so i've met julius malema and he's so right about the pub story because I don't remember how, but we got invited to his house one day and he was hosting a braai and I kid you not, the meat was ready. And the rest of us, while we were snacking on the meat, he was literally waiting for the bath to, to get ready to be cooked. Yeah, he's such a lovely person, such a people's person, always making jokes. Um, yeah. There we go. There we go. Getting to know Julius Malema, the man behind the politics. So I wanted to know, you said that you surround yourself with people who can tell you when you're right, who can tell you when you're wrong. Mm. Firstly, when they say to you, okay, then you, at the end of your speech, you're going to step onto a ramp and then this ramp is going to lift you. Yeah. Who pitched that to you? And were you hesitant? Did you immediately no, go, yes, it was, let's go? It was, not, uh, it was not something that I could uh, easily agree to. So <laughs> the guy that we... Uh, gave a, a, a job of state production. Yes. Yeah. He's the one who came with that idea and I was like, no, and the worst is a white person. So he's like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you know, this one has come with a white culture which might not work amongst us. What is that? He says, okay, I want you to come and see what's going to happen. Mm. Then we go there, puts one of the employees on the thing and it looks a bit exciting. I'm like, this is different. This, <laughs> this can be that. <laughs> so he puts me on it. Ah, the first time it went up, I almost jumped <laughs> it's, it's high. because it starts, it starts by shaking <laughs> and then it goes up. Right. I, the knees were like, no, man. Then it goes up. When it goes down, worse. <laughs> then it says, come out, go back again. We did it three times. The rehearsal. The, the third time, mm. I was demanding it. Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a roller coaster ride. <laughs> been watching the, the rally, right? But then yeah. I missed that. And then Frankie said to me the next day, Mama, <laughs> did you catch it? It was power. It's, it's, no, it's, I mean, it was showbiz, baby. <laughs> we, exactly. But that's the thing. After that happened, we still had a long chat about it because it was, it's definitely for me one of the most iconic moments yeah, I've yeah. seen yeah. Uh, at any kind of rally in a long yeah. time. It just, yeah. it, it just, it was I exciting. Don't, I don't know. Indeed. Yeah, but it was 10 years. So you had to do something, uh, oh. uh, you know, different. Yeah. Think out of the box and, we're lucky to have hired a man with ideas. Yes, right. um, yes. His production and his thought and readily available to listen to other ideas. He's got the culture of entertainment. We've got culture of politics. Collaboration. Uh, we must not compromise mm. because that is at the end a political gathering. It is, yeah, mm. yeah. So it must not lose its own character. But nothing wrong in bringing something young, exciting. I mean, something young, new, young people. Mm. I like it, exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Which is and actually indicative it. of your political party, yes. new, young, and yes. exciting. So that's yes. what you represented. Yes. And uh, we have got the, the top six of the EFF, Floyd Shibambo. Floyd Shibambo, we formed the EFF together. Mm. And then there's a secretary general, Marshal Dlamin, national chair, Veronica Mente, uh, Popi Mayula, DSG, and uh, the, our treasurer general, Umpile Mautu. That is the core of uh, the EFF. That's, mm. Those are the people who decide on day to day what are the issues, how do we resolve them. And then outside that space, I've got uh, a friend uh, or a father figure called Kassel Matali, who is a deputy minister of uh, police. Mm. Uh, we were together in the ANC, grew up under him. And uh, when I w went to his house to tell him, uh, I'm now forming the EFF, uh. he said to me, I've seen how you've been treated. Uh, I will not say no, I will not say yes. Uh, it's your call to make, but that doesn't affect our relationship. So if you need anyone to call me and uh, tell me uh, where to get off, uh, uh. that's Castle Matan. Who okay. comes and says it, uh. 
uh, without any fear or anything. So he, he phones you? You phone him? No, he calls me. He doesn't call me for uh, misconduct. He says, where are you? We call each other my man. Hey, my man, where uh. are you? He says, no, I'm here. He says, no, okay, let's meet. Okay. So we're thinking we're meeting our own thing. He says, Can do all my yeah, he's going to raise it, uh, something <laughs> like, you know, but this I don't think was uh, properly handled. And do you easily apologize? I do, uh, especially to uh, my family members uh. because sometimes um, you're thinking you're being, uh, you know, putting your point across in an uncompromising manner, but it's not well received because at home it's not a political gathering. Mm. So the language from time to time must change. You have to change. Yeah. You're not yeah. the so same Julius. Sometimes we yeah. forget when one. Well, I was going to ask, yeah. you know, because often we see we see you in public in a certain yeah. way and you, you know, I can imagine you walk in the house and your wife goes, okay, now put, take your jackets off and put yeah. them there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, those kids have left those things. They take them to the mm. uh, oh. Playroom. Uh. Mm. Yeah, but the things they do to us at home, if Vian and them were to see this is what their bosses are subjected to, <laughs> they will never listen to anything we say. <laughs> it's like this guy, Oraya, a six year old, yeah, tells him what like, to do, yeah, and the yeah. next thing he wants to come and give me a disciplinary hour. Yeah, like, hey, <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. So it's uh, at home, we have to allow yeah. that space. Otherwise, it becomes another a battlefield. Mm. Mm. You're just from a battlefield. You're now going into another battlefield. So yeah. you need to know that when you arrive home, you mm. arrive at a peaceful place mm. where things are said without anyone feeling restricted or intimidated or scared. You must not be the kind of a person who, who walks in and people are scared. There's mm. a friend of mine who said, when he saw my kids, uh, running to me and I'm sitting on a couch, the couch, the other one wants to be on the neck, the other one wants to be on the mm. lap. So like, do they, these boys know how lucky they are to have a father like you? What do you mean? His father is a professor, by the way. Mm. Yeah. He says, when my father walked in, we all went into the Scattered. corners where mm. he can't see us. Even the dogs and the cats yeah. run away. When and you then come. when you get called, there's no compliment. It means you did something wrong. Yeah, that's not nice. So, that's not yeah. there's a story where David Beckham, right? He played for Manchester United. Yes, he grew yes. up in, you know, in, in in that fold. Your kids play soccer, so yes, you would yes, know yes, this. Yes. And then David Beckham, uh, a huge Manchester United kid, grew up in there. Yeah. And then his kid, Brooklyn, ends up liking Arsenal. Mm -hmm. So he's like, I don't know what I did wrong to have a child who wants to support Arsenal. What would happen in your life if your kids grow up and they don't support the EFF? And it will, they it will never happen. It's, wow. it's, it's not a, a football, you know. <laughs> where politics are uh, the values that we grow up with. Mm. Uh, this is what we represent. And I've said the other time, like, I don't want to have a relationship that Zuma has, for instance, with Duduzani, mm. where they do two, two completely different things, things yeah. and in public. So these guys are here um, to make a contribution, and they know that if there's something that is not working for them, Mm. They have to suggest that why can't we take this, amend it to this direction or that other direction. So mm. we are the black Jews, uh, uh, black lambas. Yeah, family. We are told that we always stick together. Yeah. Uh, we don't go to different. So I don't know of any of my cousins, not even my children, who can proudly... Uh, uh, pronounce ANC on the eve of the elections. Mm. Because... Mm it will be to sell out mm. the black Jewish culture of how we do things. I, but I have to ask, I have to ask though, mm -hmm. you are... As we wrap it up, as we wrap it up. But I have to ask, because you are asking other families' children mm -hmm. to not stick to that political allegiance and come to yours. Well, they may not have that culture in their own families. Okay. They mm. may not have grown up together to discuss the vision. Because the vision of the country is a family vision. This is what, as this family... Mm. represent uh, uh, going forward. You are part of that gene. You might be young, but as you grow older, you also find your own space to make inputs. That, I think this, that everybody who meets in the EFF, they've had the societal issues. Mm. They've had family members make inputs. They've had uh, ordinary people during door-to-door -door saying, this is how you can bet. Then that forms your idea mm. of Okay, I think if I were to propose this, it will be good for all. I mean, 
my son, the oldest one, once said to me, my guy, I hear you're going to chase out all white people when you take over South Africa. I'm like, how is that possible? It will never happen. Us. Hey, I was shocked because I was like, what's going to happen to my white <laughs> friends? <laughs> yeah, but who are you? I like Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Jared and his family are pretty cool guys. But <laughs> so they're like, no, that is not possible. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that's when they want to caricature me. It's, there's nothing like that. Tim Bigel, I know you're standing by and I know we have to go to a spot break. More flavor and I know you want to start your show. But I want to know, in closing, uh, Julius Malema, leader of the EFF, in an election year, we know exactly what could go right for the EFF yeah. this year. Mm -hmm. What could go wrong? If the EFF declines its vote, because the EFF, since it was formed, mm. has always, uh, ascended. Has always growing, increased. Yeah. And of all the big parties in South Africa, it's only the EFF with an arrow that goes up. Mm. A green one. Uh, yeah, a green one. Mm. So the red, the rest is red. So if it declines, then it's a serious threat to its future. Mm. Uh, but the, if it increases its votes and then it overtakes the DA and becomes that the threat, op opposition. The official, official opposition yeah. and be right on the neck of the ANC, then you know that there is huge progress, even if we might not have won but there should be a sign of growth uh, where people can say, but this is worth investing in it. Mm, this mm, is the future. Mm. And uh, it has proven over a period of time that it has got direction, it's growing. Julius Malema, thank you so much for thank your you. time. Thank, thank you. you so much. Good luck for the election. Just thank quickly, you. there is a jar there full of sweets. Sorry, guys, give me room. There is a candy jar there full of sweets. How many sweets are in that jar? Well, I think it's 1,000. Uh-huh. One, uh, on the dot, 1,000. Go up, 1,000 watts. 1.5? 1.5, 1,500. Okay. That's what he thinks. All right. If yeah. you win, we're going to send you an inverter. <laughs> <laughs> but don't send me sweets. <laughs> no, no. You heard. I don't we need it. Yeah. <laughs> Very healthy family. No, no, but you promised me the marks. As I told them I'm, I've got a soup kitchen. Yes, we're And you're collecting you, marks. I'm sending you 1,000 marks. Yes, I wanted you to say it here on record. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got it. We got it. Thank you. Julius Maleva. <laughs> Anele and the club on 947.